welcome to easylearn.guru today we will be uh, seeing uh, what NoSQL is but before I go ahead and make you understand what NoSQL is we will see that what different things easylearn.guru is offering you uh, easylearn.guru offers you lifetime LMS access uh, LMS is our learning management system and you will be having a lifetime access to that we also provide you on demand support so if in any situation uh, in a situation in which you encounter any problem you can contact to our support team and a support will be provided to you. Uh, they, you are also provided with easylearn.guru certification that is after the completion of the course you are supposed to submit as a project and after that final examination there will be a final exam and after that you will be provided with an easylearn.guru certificate. Then there is easy and on demand rescheduling of your classes. See in case you are not able to attend any of our classes you can easily reschedule it. Uh, there will be different doubt clearing sessions available for you. You like in case you have any problem, you encounter any problem, you can have a one to one session with our instructors and we will be uh, giving a different classes for them. And all our instructors are the are uh, Mohudibi University certified instructors. Uh, so they all are experts in their field. Uh, today we will be seeing what NoSQL is. Uh, now before I go ahead and make you understand NoSQL, we will first have a look towards the basic definition of a NoSQL database. See, NoSQL is an approach to data management and database design that is useful for every large set of distributed data. NoSQL is a class of DBMS that do not follow all the rules of relational DBMS and cannot use traditional SQL for querying data. See, or in simple terms you can say that See, uh, NoSQL is also called not only SQL and it is an approach to database management in and mostly enterprises uh, use them in case you need to access and analyze massive amount of data. So if in case you want to do that, you want to analyze massive amount of data, usually enterprises prefer using NoSQL. See, NoSQL was an uh, actually came into picture when you uh, needed to handle the big data. See a conventional rate databases were no more efficient of handling with big data so NoSQL actually came into picture. So see uh, it is also uh, like people think and uh, it is a mislead of uh, a mislead and interpreted as that it is a replacement to our conventional database but it's not at all like that. NoSQL is not a replacement to conventional database rather it is a complementary addition. So things that SQL could no more do, now NoSQL is doing that. Okay, so that is what NoSQL is. So now there are broadly, they are categorized into four databases, four types of NoSQL databases. First is your key value store database, second is your white column store database, then your graph store database and document store database. So we will be talking about each and every database so that you can ha have a basic understanding of what these three, these four databases are. Okay. First is a key value store database. See the key value store, uh, key value type basically uses hash table in which there exists a unique key and a pointer to a particular item of data. In this model, data is represented as a collection of key value pairs such that is possible key appears at most once in the collection. See or in simple term you can say the data is stored in the form of key value. That is whatever data you store an associated key is like given with it right and then those keys are stored in hash table so whenever you perform a search it goes to the hash table from there whichever key matches to it the, uh, the respective data is then given to you. Okay, so that is the basic approach, the key value approach that your key attribute name is treated as the key, key together with its value. You can think it like that, how the things are working in your key value store database. Okay, now one of the most popular uh, key value store database is Redis, right? See, it is best used key value store database or you can say Redis uh, in situation where you have like rapidly changing data. Okay. So in those situations to or to like you have real time stock prices, real time analytics. So in those situations Redis gives you a very good performance, right? And it's a very good database for storing uh, to be used in these kinds of um, situations. 
but it also have a disadvantage that the key value store databases is not a good option when you have complex data see if you have complex data as the volume of data increasing maintaining maintaining this unique value that we were talking about the key is becomes like more difficult so in case you have complex data available you must not be using the key value store database because then things becomes quite complicated right next is your white column store database in white column store database data is stored in cells grouped into columns uh, of data rather than rows of data okay so columns are logically grouped into column family and read and writes are done using columns rather than rows so in simple term you can say you have all the columns no rows right so it's a complete column database in which you store the data there uh, the query is performed on a column and the the data in the complete column is fetched and given to you okay so that is how your co white column store database works the most popular example of white column store database is cassandra cassandra see it is best used in situations where you can use cassandra is when you need to, to store data so huge that it does not fit on your server you still want a friendly interface right so in that situation like you have web analytics where you have to count the hits by hour right so in that situation you can go for cassandra whereas uh, there might be some situations and you can see some disadvantage of uh, this white column store database see uh, we like queries with uh, tables having joins see in cassandra you have this joins right and with joins what happen your performance decreases okay then updating the records uh deleting or reducing the uh, is like deleting or reducing the storage efficiency right because you have joins so maintaining the uh, performance maintaining the efficiency is a difficult concept in uh, cassandra right then um due to joins what will happen you will have a, a like partitioning partitioning will become difficult right because you have joins with joins the partition things become quite difficult okay next is your graph store database this is your third no sql database see this kind of database is designed for data whose uh, whose relation are well represented as a graph the kind of data could be social relation public transport links road maps or network topologies see graph store database are used to store information about networks such as social connections right see it is basically used if you want to represent some like tree like structure or you want to represent a, a a network having high number of connections right in the those situation graph store database is uh, best to be used uh, also in situation where you want to define clear boundaries you can go with graph store database okay uh, the most popular graph store database is neo4j you can use this database if you want to like have high connected data you have like you suppose you have social a uh, social network right where we need high connected data so you can go for neo4j it will give you a very high uh, good performance on such database then in case of e-commerce or you want to develop an application for path finding in that situation neo4j will be a very good database and will be giving you the desired output that you wish uh document store database it is the database in which data is stored in document in rows and columns it is simply stored in javascript like json javascript uh, json is a javascript object notation and the language of database that is used internally is your javascript see document store database is like um you can say instead of in our conventional databases uh, conventional relational databases what happen we used to store the data in the form of rows and columns but in document store database this concept has been removed and the concept of collection and documents has been take uh, like brought to the picture and now the data is stored in the form of documents and to store or to represent that data json is being used that is javascript object notation and internally the queries are all in javascript okay 
and MongoDB is the most popular document store database. MongoDB can be, see because it, it is a most popular database, see it can be used in situation where you need dynamic queries. If you want to have a database you can, where you can run dynamic queries, you can go for MongoDB. If you prefer indexes over MapReduce functions, if you need good performance and um, you are actually working with your big data, MongoDB is the right choice. Right? And most of the things that you would do with MySQL but having predefined columns are really holding you back, go, uh, go ahead with MongoDB and uh, MongoDB can be your solution. And that was all about NoSQL. Thank you for watching the video. You can always contact us at contact at the rate easyline.guru, our Skype ID easyline.guru, our website www.easyline.guru. Your queries are always welcome. Thank you and have a nice day.